Hey everybody, so you guys know I won my protective style challenge. Um, and so this weekend I actually did protective styles instead of just doing it on the weekdays too. And so I just wanted to show you guys this really quick and easy style that I did. Um, yeah, I did. I wore my hair like this yesterday and I took a lot of pictures. And I was going to put it on Facebook. But before I put it on Facebook, I knew people would want, might want a tutorial. So I decided to um, make a tutorial today. And um, um, after I did the tutorial, I'll send you guys clips of how it looked once it's dry. So yeah, let's get right on into it. Um, so what you're going to need for this is you will need um, two bobby pins, one goodie band, um, some gel. It's, that's optional, a brush, and um, some some moisture. Um, for me, I use water, a little bit of rose water, and some leave-in conditioner in my spray mist to moisturize my hair. And you can see it's very wet and wavy right now. So I'm just going to show you the basic instructions on how I made this style. Right, so let's, let's begin. begin. So, first things first, you're like, you need to part your hair to make this style. So, um, for me, my hair is kind of already parted because I've been wearing this style for two days so it's kind of already in the part but to help you if you don't know how to make a deep side part like this um to help you just take it from the arch of your eyebrows so you just raise your eyebrow from the very arch and follow it straight up like that um I, I don't use the columns apart I just use my fingers um if you want you can use a brush to do it but I prefer not to so yeah I just use my fingers to part it there and you want to take your part all the way around to your ear and you want to make sure that you have um, not too much hair in this section because you don't want your twist to be too loopy um, well not loopy to be too lumpy and so you want to make sure that it's a very um, small section and you want to twist that section another way next thing you want to do is put this hair back into a nice bun so, um, for me, before I start doing anything with my hair, I always moisturize with this. But as you can see, my hair has already been moisturized. So, I'm just going to moisturize it back a little bit. Using my spritz. That I'll already explain to you. Hope I didn't get you guys. <laughs> Maybe I did. to clean you up. It's better. Yeah, it's better. Okay. So now that you have moisturized, you want to take your hair and put it into a nice medium butt. You want to make sure your butt is not down here. Your butt is not up here. It's just right in the middle. For me, I just kind of like my fingers through the front like that. Just look it back instead of using the brush. Okay. I have a nice ponytail. So now what I do is I just roll my hair. Just roll, twist it, whatever you want to call this. But just roll it into the bun. Look at that. And then I put my goodie band on twice. Where are you, goodie band? One, two. You could do it three times, but I don't want it to be too 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 tight. Okay, so 50% is already done. I mean, for me, you guys know I love big avant-garde stuff, so I could even just wear my hair like this if I wanted to. But that's not what we're going for. <laughs> Okay, so first thing you want to do, so this is moisturizer, but as you can see, mine has already been, been moisturized and gelled and slicked down. But basically, I'll show you the actions of what you would do. You would take your moisturizer, spray your hair completely down. Then what you want to do is detangle it, because you're going to need to rake your finger completely through when you're twisting. You don't want to have to stop in the middle of your twist to detangle. So you want to do that prior, right after you've moisturized your hair. Then, you want to take the gel of your choice and slick that hair down. So, I'm going to take a little bit more. And this um, it will become hard at the end of the day. It will be like, look like you have finger waves or like it's molded or something like that. So, do expect that it's not going to be soft. Okay, so 
I am shedding. Um, I have to take a thyroid medicine. Sometimes thyroid medicine causes excessive shedding. So don't think that this style calls it shedding. It's just a personal thing. Okay, so just do it like that. Like if you want a lighter hole, what you can do is rub the gel together in your hand and then spread it. But when you do it more direct, it gives you a very heavy hole. But it also helps your curls to pop out. So like if you want a light hole, you would take this, rub it in your hand, and just put it on like that. And it's not as direct, it's just a more of a light coating. But if you take the gel and like like that, it gives you more of a hard, hard cast, gel cast. So, yeah, <clears throat> it's depending on whatever you want. So now you just begin twisting. So I start here and twist under. That's basically what I did. Flat twist going, tucking under like so. And then you twist it all the way into the end. I'm just smoothing my finger through so that our twist isn't like, um, isn't chunky. So again, it's still very smooth. And now you take your twist, wrap it around your head to the other side. And then you take it around your bun. So I'm going to turn to the back so you can see what I just did. Take your twist, wrap it around your head, take it to the top of your bun, and pin. And then you pin anywhere else where you feel insecure, uh, where it feels a little insecure. So I'm just going to print again, like, maybe here, to tighten it. And voila! It's done. Now the first time I did this part, I did actually use a brush to just smooth it down after I detangled it. Because if you just, like, you don't pull all your hair out. So you detangle it first, and then you, well first you wet it, and then you detangle it. And then you can um, add your gel and just, like, brush it to smooth it down like that. And that's all that I basically did. And then you just add your extra hair accessory for a pop of color depending on your outfit. Or depending on your mood. <laughs> if your person doesn't care about matching, then yeah. Depending on your mood. And there you go. Have a really quick, easy, beautiful, protective style. That can last you a few days. Like last night, had not had I not taken it out, it probably would have lasted because I put a lot of gel, so it was kind of molded that way. And so all I had to do, all I would have had to do, is put a scarf on it. So I'll probably be wearing this for another day, um, and then I'll come up with another protective style. Also, at the end of this video, I'll be posting pictures of how my hair uh, looks when it's dry, um, and also a makeup look. So if you would like a tutorial on that makeup look, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll totally do it for you guys. Okay, love you. Bye.